In this module, we shall discuss some more properties of cyclic groups. Let G be a cyclic group. If G is generated by an element A or some A in G, if A is order of A is infinite, then AI equal to AJ if and only if I equal to J. The second condition is that if order of A is finite, then AI equal to AJ if and only if N divides I minus J. The group generated by A contains elements A, A square and so on AN minus 1 and E. Because order of A is equal to N, therefore we have A raised to power N equal to E. So we have total N elements in the group generated by A. Probably 1. Order of A equal to order of cyclic group generated by A. Now we state corollary 2. A raised to power k equal to E implies order of A divides k. Now we consider some examples. We are taking U5. U5 jo hai wo hamare paas cyclic group hai jo ke omega se generate ho raha hai aur isme total 5 elements hain. Aur iske ilawa kaun se generators hain U5 ke? Wo hum dekh sakte hain ke kya omega square isko generate kar raha hai. To aap very easily isko examine kar sakte hain ke omega square, omega raised to power 4. Omega square ki powers hum yahan par lete jayenge. Or then omega raised to power omega square raised to power three, which is omega six, and we shall get omega. In this way, we can generate u five by omega square. Similarly, omega cube or omega four be generators in u five k. Or here, omega, which we given, is e iota two pi over five. अब हम यहां पे देख सकते हैं कि ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज नॉट इक्वल टू ओमेगा 4 और अगर हम थ्योरम अप्लाई करें तो आप देख सकते हैं कि 5 डज नॉट डिवाइड 4 minus 2 बिकॉज़ ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज नॉट इक्वल टू ओमेगा 4 सेकंड कंडीशन हम थ्योरम की अप्लाई कर रहे हैं और आप देख सकते हैं ओमेगा 5 इक्वल टू ओमेगा 10 और 5 divides 10 minus 5. Now we are considering an example U6. U6 may wo elements hai jo ke 6th root of unity hai amare paas. Aur U6 jo hai wo generate ho raha hai omega se. Aur yahaan pe omega e iota 2 pi by 6 ke equal hai. Aur is tarah jo elements amare paas aayenge wo omega, omega square, omega cube, omega 4, omega 5 and omega 6 equal to 1. Ab yahaan par aap dekh sakte hai ke agar hum omega 5 se generate karna shuru karen elements ko to dekhte hai amare paas kaun se elements aate hai. Omega 5 square which is equal to omega 10 aur isko hum likh sakte hai omega 6 into omega 4 which is equal to omega 4 kyunke hume maloom hai ke omega 6 jo hai wo 1 ke equal hai isi tarah omega 5 ki power 3 lete hai which is equal to omega 15 and we can write it in the form omega 6 whole square into omega cube ek tarah se hum deviant algorithm apply kar rahe hai jaisa ke humne deviant algorithm pichle modules mein define kiya tha और इस तरह से हमारे पास ओमेगा रेस्ट टू पावर 3 आ जाएगा सिमिलरली ओमेगा 5 रेस्ट टू पावर 4 गिव्स ओमेगा 20 एंड वी कैन राइट इट इन दिस फॉर्म ओमेगा 6 रेस्ट टू पावर 3 इनटू ओमेगा स्क्वायर एंड वी नो दैट ओमेगा 6 इक्वल टू 1 सो वी हैव ओमेगा स्क्वायर नो वी टेक पावर 5 ओमेगा 5 रेस्ट टू पावर 5 which is equal to omega 25 and we can write it in this form omega 6 raised to power 4 into omega and we shall get omega and omega raised to power 5 
raised to power 6 gives 1. So we have the complete group U6 whose elements are 1, omega, omega square, omega cube, omega 4, omega 5. It means that U6 is generated by, completely generated by omega and omega raised to power 5. Kya iske ilawa or elements hain jinse U6 jo hai wo generate ho jayega? The answer would be no. Because agar aap GCD 5 or 6 ka lehen, to aapke paas 1 aayega. Or isi tarah agar aap 1 or 6 ka GCD lehen, to bhi 1 aayega. To U6 mein jo elements hain, wohi elements isse generate kar sakte hain jinka GCD 6 ke saath one Nadia, that is those elements which are relatively prime with 6. So, if you look at 2 or 6 ka GCD, we have 2 aega, or 3 or 6 ka GCD, we have 3 aega, or 4 or 6 ka GCD, 2 aega. So, it means that uh, omega square, omega cube, and omega raised to power 4 cannot generate completely U6. Now we generate the elements by omega square. We shall get omega square, omega 4 and omega square raised to power 3. We will get omega 6 and which is equal to 1. So the subgroup generated by omega square gives 3 elements which is a subgroup of U6. Now we are considering omega cube. And uh, uh, we are taking omega cube and their powers. Omega cube raised to power 2 will give omega raised to power 6 which is equal to 1. So we have just two elements which are generated by omega cube. Now we generate the elements by omega 4. First element will be omega 4 raised to power 1 which is omega 4 and second element will be omega 4 raised to power 2 which is omega 8 and we know that omega 6 equal to 1 so we get omega square and the third one is omega 4 raised to power 3 which is omega 12 and we shall get 1. So we can see that the subgroup generated by omega 4 is equal to subgroup generated by omega square. So subgroups generated by omega square and omega cube and omega 4 cannot completely generate U6.